What's good guys, it's your Baldur Stripes back again with another banger and today we're gonna focus on all the issues with the performance mode after the patch 15.30 no matter if you've been experiencing invisible walls, invisible objects, just textures not loading in general whatsoever, we're gonna cover every single aspect right now here guys I've been sitting here literally for hours trying to figure out all the ways and all I'm asking you for guys is to simply leave a like on this video this would help me out so so much thank you so so much again for surpassing 2000 subscribers this is just insane guys, I don't know what to say everything I'm gonna be explaining in this video is gonna be super simple and straight and detailed everyone can follow up and with that said see you guys just in a second yeah guys as you can see we're right now here in creative and a lot of people have been telling me that they hate how the builds look on performance mode and as you can see if we take a closer look they really don't look that good a lot of people even say they distract them so I'm gonna be showing you how you can fix them with some simple steps it's really not complicated and see you guys just in a second on my desktop and yeah guys, in this next final step, I'm gonna be showing you how to pretty much apply all the new changes to make your builds look better. Pretty much only go into your Windows search bar, type in presenter app data presenter and open up the file. Click on the top bar and just simply remove the word roaming and it's gonna take you one step back. Then you gotta click on locals, type just simply F on your keyboard to find Fortnite game. Open it, go into saved, into your config. Windows client and then you gotta see your game user settings before you make any changes for anyone who already applied a stretch resolution before Go into your properties and make sure this is unchecked so it's not read only and Then you gotta just right click on it go into edit and now you're gonna see this huge as list and you're gonna be probably confused All you gotta do guys is go on edit go on to find and type in user render and as soon as you find it You can pretty much see it here. It's a new setting and just make sure this is set onto 2, it could be on 1, 3, 4, whatsoever guys. Make sure this is set to 2. And pretty much after you did that, you're good to go. Then just scroll all the way down until you find this word D3, DRI preference thing. And just make sure to copy all of these settings. The preference D3, D12 should be on true. The second option should be on false. And this one is probably on true for you guys. Just make sure to put this on false and you're good to go. You applied all the settings which are important to make your builds look better in game. Then just go on file, go on to save and you're good to go. And afterwards, again, click on your game user settings, go into properties and make sure to check the read only mark here again. Click on apply and you applied all the settings correctly. So yeah guys, we're back in creative and now let's actually compare our builds to what we had before. This looks way more detailed, more high resolution and this looks actually really decent. I know a lot of people are complaining that they don't want to have mobile graphics while playing on PC but I mean this is probably like the perfect sweet spot between having some good visuals and actually having still all the benefits from performance mode and just to clarify if we go into our settings you can pretty much see that we're still on performance mode we didn't just switch over to DirectX 12 or whatsoever you still get all the benefits and this looks actually really decent I'm just gonna show you also the other builds and yeah you know a lot of people are complaining that they can't see really through the old ones um, from the performance mode because they're really wobbly and squishy and they're just distracting them and I think this is like a really good sweet spot and now let's hop straight up to the next tip pretty much and yeah guys as you can see we're right now here in the battle lab and I fixed all of my invisible walls builds or whatsoever or even some text just not loading everything looks crispy as freak boys this is insanely and after some hours I finally found a solution for all of these bugs and pretty much all you guys need to know is GPU usage. For some reason, after some updates, Fortnite is bugging whatsoever and your GPU is not being utilized 100% for the game. And that's mainly because Fortnite is really bad optimized. It is what it is, boys. Uh, nothing we can do there, pretty much. I thought nothing we could do there. But I actually found a solution for this and pretty much all you guys need to know is that um, if you go into your settings and turn your textures on something higher than low or medium let's say high this is probably the best one because it fixes all of the issues and it still gives you like more FPS because it's not epic obviously and yeah pretty much what this does is your GPU and CPU are gonna work harder together and therefore your GPU usage goes up and this should fix all of these issues with the invisible builds whatsoever as you can see there is not a single invisible wall here all around this area and pretty much I know a lot of people have been commenting in the latest video um, I already did a video about this topic but as mentioned this is gonna be like a more complex guide with all of the infos I've got to fix any possible issue um, a lot of people have been commenting yeah if I'm using performance mode I obviously want to gain as much FPS as possible and if I'm putting my textures on high or ultra uh, I'm losing FPS or but there is a little secret maybe not a lot of people know 
Um, most of the casual YouTubers would probably just recommend you to switch to a lower resolution, I don't know, like normal HD, but then again your game will look horrible. So my secret tip is, literally guys, just use a stretched resolution, it's super easy to set it up, I'm gonna show you just in a second here around the corner. Uh, where to set up the stretch, re stretch resolution and how to do it. It's super easy guys. And as you can see, I'm playing right now on 1750x1080 and this looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, I've got no flickering whatsoever, it's so crispy. And yeah, the game looks really good overall and it still will boost your FPS, it will still um, make your GPU usage higher and as you can see, no invisible objects whatsoever. And super easy to set up, see you guys just in a second on my desktop. And yeah guys, now I'm going to show you really quick how to change your resolution actually to stretch res. All you gotta do is search up presenter, app data presenter and click on the first folder which shows up. Click here on the top line, remove the word roaming and then go into locals. Just press F on your keyboard so you find Fortnite game, go into saved, config, windows clan and then you instantly see your game user settings. If you applied the settings from before, make sure to uncheck the read only thing here in the properties so you can actually edit the file. Right click on it and click on edit. And now you're just gonna go on edit again and go on find and type in 1080 since this is always the stock Y resolution. And the only thing you really wanna mess around if the, is the X resolution. In my opinion, I use 1750 times 1080 because I think this is the best looking stretch res. So simply change, probably here's going to be like 1920, just change that for both of these to 750 and then just click on save and close this. And just make sure again, if you mess around with your settings and you don't wanna put this in each time after you mess around with them, just put here the read only check mark on it and this will prevent that your settings are gonna get changed each time when you wanna go maybe for, I don't know, full HD whatsoever or mess a little bit around with the settings so you don't have to put this in each time. And then you pretty much applied stretch resolution guys, it's that easy and now let's continue with the next tip. And yeah guys, this next step is literally beneficial for people who are running a system with 8 gigs of RAM or maybe even below. If you didn't know, you nowadays need tons of RAM actually to run Fortnite properly. And I'm just gonna show you how to free up some RAM and over some system power to boost your Fortnite FPS. And yeah, pretty much all you guys need to do is go into your system properties. I'm gonna link down below exactly how to get to here. Then you see performance and you're gonna click on your settings. And then this new window here pops up and literally all you guys need to do is click on adjust for best performance and hit apply. And then pretty much all the unnecessarily animations or whatsoever which you got in your windows while moving maybe here a window as you can see all these animations are getting disabled. So you free up some RAM actually which will help you to boost your Fortnite FPS in game and yeah this is just a great option overall guys. And yeah, you're pretty much done here. And yeah guys, this is it pretty much for today's video. Please don't forget to leave a like and comment down below if this was helpful for you. If this could actually fix all of your issues you've been experiencing right now with the new performance mode. And don't forget to use code WAVYSTRIPES in the Fortnite item shop. And until next time, have a great day or have a great night whenever you're watching this. And I'm out. Peace. I'm sorry, she said, do you miss me, baby? All I said was Harley. You should bring your sister, she could ride me like a Harley. I might tag team with Mama Young Jeff Hardy, yeah. I might pull up to your party, keep a glizzy on me just in case he try to rob me.